Hello and welcome. Jelly Cube here doing another um, test pour. This was some paint that I found in my um, tray there that I'd mixed. Oh, it would have been a long time ago and all that is written on that particular bottle is Jilly's special mix. And do you think I have any idea whatsoever of what is in that particular paint? I have no idea. Um, I think it was, I think it was to do with doing a cloud mix. Um, but what is in it? I, your guess is good as mine. So I've put that round MDF board on my spinner and it is sitting on, as you see, another cup. I just wanted it up off the spinner. Um, and I'm going to use today over that paint that I have no idea what it is. I'm going to use my boom gel paints. So I'm going to use an array of different colours there as I'm showing you the colours. That's ring neck blue. Um, I think the first one was pearlescent red. And I'll just layer the colours. There you go. That's tree frog green. I'll layer the colours in a puddle and um, show you the colours and I'm putting them down. And then I will add in between each some of the colours. That is the Amsterdam with Floetrol only. So it's what you call the cell activator. It's, it's the Floetrol and the Amsterdam paints. They're just like a match made in heaven, I guess, because they help create the lovely lacy cells for all different kinds of um, pores you want to do. You can do swipes, you can blue, do blowouts. You can do all sorts of things with it. So I'm merrily layering those paints. So they're the Boom Gel Stain paints and they're a pre-made paint. So you don't have to add or do anything to them. Just pour them straight out of the bottle, as you see. And then I'm blowing it out. Look at those colors, super duper wow. And that base, just was beautiful with it it was really nice but as you see i've got no more left of it so what i have to do is to spread this out when i spin it um i have to add some just of my ordinary white with my pouring medium so i'm going to just add a little bit more paint here and get a few more um cells in that center after i've put this paint around the edges so I'm just putting that paint around the edges so it allows me to spin the rest of that paint out and then um, we'll go from there. But yeah, I got a fantabulous effect in it. It's really lovely. Okay, so I think I've spun all my good bits. <laughs> I've took them all off, but it's still very, very pretty as it is. It is gorgeous. I'm just going to try and blow that uh, black 
cell activator in the centre just to bring up the cells in there. Um, yeah, I think I went a little bit overboard on this one, but um, I'm going to leave it to dry and see what it actually turns out like. And if it's still lovely and become a trivet or, or something, or we can even make a clock out of it, I guess, then um, it's worthy of being resined, isn't it? But anyway, it was a nice little experimental process and I think it's still quite nice because it has got the lovely colours. So I hope you enjoy it. Woohoo! So there is a really, really easy way to get some beautiful lacy bloom effects with the boom gel stain um, and the cell activator was just the Amsterdam paint with Floetrol only but look what you can get the boom gel there you know I think they're definitely manufactured more to get the gorgeous effects without all the hard work of all the different uh, products that you might have to put in to get the bloom technique well that certainly turned out gorgeous look at some of those lovely effects with that so there you go on my spinny winny thing spinner it's a winner okay my lovelies thank you so much again for joining me today if you're feeling sad lonely upset please ring a family a member or a friend or if not there is always a helpline always somebody there to help you take care until tomorrow. Bye for now.